Hi everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw gauge. Okay, so pencils first and then Sharpies. So I'm going to sketch this out in a pencil first, but if you don't want to watch that, if you want to jump to the Sharpie portion, look in the description of the video and you'll see a timeline of the uh, time stamp of where to jump to to get just to the Sharpies, okay? So for now, I'm going to start with giving myself a quick sketch just to find a good pose, see where I want to put them, and make it look good. And then once I do that, then I'll switch over to Sharpie and you can have some fun if that's what you're waiting for, you know? So first I have to establish uh, positioning and then I will switch over. So, you know, bear with me and you know what? You should be doing this too. You should be practicing because that way you can draw in any position you want because I'm not looking at a picture of this. I'm looking at a picture of the character and then I'm drawing him to fit the pose that I want. Does that make sense? But to do that I had to learn how to sketch and draw and learn anatomy. So that's what all this is good for. It's good practice to do that, you know? So technically you should be doing this too and learning. But you know, there's time for that. For now, let's just have some fun. All right. Okay. So, I think I'm established a good position here. And I think I'm happy with that. It's a good a good pose. And I'm just going to have him kind of let's see. And there's that's the other trick cuz I got to figure out all the stuff he has and how to fit it on here in this position. Okay. Okay. So, I think I'm good with this position. And let's see. So, um, let's see. Uh, his collar's out like that. He's got a big old collar. And a lot of this detail in his vest, I don't know if I want to do it or, or draw or draw it in color. You know what I mean? Because I can draw this for you now and help you, but it might look better if I show you in color, you know? So I can do this. Yeah, maybe I can, maybe I can. Because, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll just do a couple of these in, 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 in the fine Sharpie, and that'll help you to uh, add your, your own detail, you know? Because that's why we're here, having some fun. Okay, that line goes there, and this line goes there. All right, so let's give him some arms. How about we just give him some... Some... Uh, superhero arms, I guess that's the best way to describe it. Um, just uh, posed up, ready for action. Let's see, I gotta think of his fingers, what to do with those. Because sometimes I've been cheating and, and, and just drawing uh, uh, fists, so I'm trying to do something more for you than just a fist. Okay, I think that'll work. What does he have? He's got gloves on, so I can get away with drawing some finger detail. Um, let's see, but I think, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I had him, I had him splayed out, but I think I'm gonna do it more like that. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so now I just gotta draw a few details of his um, armor, and then I can switch over to the big Sharpie and what exactly what you're here for, right? 
Okay, there's a good arm there. How about we do one arm up in like a, a, uh, a strong defiant pose, you know? Okay. See, I'm gonna give him a good bicep there. He's got the strappy arms. Gonna fill it out. He's <laughs> he's turning into a superhero, honestly. So I'm giving him muscles and <laughs> all kinds of of uh, of uh, superhero detail, you know. Okay, so uh, might as well just keep going with it. Okay, so let's give him a uh, a fist over here. So I've got to draw the digits like that, and that way I can draw the other ones like this. That should work, okay? All right. So he's got. Let me see. I got to draw a little bit of that armor on that side since it's, you can see that. All right. So here we go with the face. Let me let me sketch out the face real fast, which I know. There's not much to it since he's wearing a mask, right? I just gotta, I gotta position his fruity hair. Now let me zoom in, try to get a good look at. Oh, he's got headphones on. I didn't even realize that. Okay. And see, and so we gotta draw. Let's see this very specific whip of hair right okay so let's see you know what let me see if I got a better picture of him because I got to figure out what's on his head and I know that sounds silly but is that a helmet not a helmet I'm sorry is that like a baseball hat where are my pictures so sorry uh, there it is there it is that is, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like a baseball hat. So I can draw the, what do you call it, the bill out like this. And let's see, so I'm so bad at baseball hats. I've said it before. Okay, and then I can draw the uh, headphones over it like that and that that ought to be good enough I think that's gonna work yeah yeah so let's get started I'm gonna switch over it's a little thick with the pencil lines I should have gone thinner but I need to see what I was doing so I'm gonna switch over to Sharpie now so I'm gonna switch over to a fine point Sharpie and a Sharpie pen and a Sharpie pen for the finer detail so I think I'm gonna do that a little bit for this part just to control it just a little bit better than I could with a big fat Sharpie. So let's start here. Let me go back to my other picture. All right. Okay. So let's draw, you know what's in front? I'm gonna draw that whippy hair right there, that little curl, because that's in front of everything. So that's gonna guide me with the lines that are gonna be built off of that, okay? So let's draw this. So let's draw just this whippy little thing like that. Whip, like that. Come back and draw this side like that all right so now that I have that I'm gonna draw the top of his hat and that will well not the top of his hat I guess the top of the hair and the edge of the hat to give me a place of uh, uh, a start and stop point kind of thing and you know what I want to do I want to just do like that just a, a little bit of accent is basically all I want to do but I don't want to go crazy so I'm gonna stop right there before I go too far okay Okay, so there is more hair back there, uh, like that, back behind this, and so I'm going to build off of this. So now I'm going to draw his goggles, like that, and come back around. I'm going to go over it one more time, just to thicken it up just a hair, and I think I'm going to try to do another layer to it, okay? So let's see if I can do this. Like that, the little edge is basically what I'm drawing. But I want to go, I got to be careful. There we go. That's it. I'm going to walk away. I kind of went over the hair, but that's okay. I'm going to walk away from this right here. That's good enough for me. So I'm going to draw the edge of his head there, connect it. 
And let's go ahead and draw the edge of his mask. Like this, down to his chin. I'm gonna to start to thicken it up because now I'm gonna to start to move towards the big fat Sharpie. And that's gonna stand out if I don't. So his hair comes down here. I wanna make sure I bring it out just a little bit because I don't want it to go over the jawline, which is gonna be right here. Like that. I'm gonna go and hide that little extra ink I did right there. Okay, and there are little patterns in this, but I'm gonna do that with color because it's so subtle, I don't wanna um, mess it up. I, I think it'll be better with color, okay? So there's a little bit of hair here, so let's go ahead and just draw like that, just to represent the uh, other hair that's on the other side right there. And so now I'm gonna draw, well, I think I should switch over to the big Sharpie now because the rest of it, is gonna flow better. That was all the detail I wanted to take care of. I'm gonna to attempt to move over to the big Sharpie now. All right, I think it's still sharp enough of a point. Okay, so let's draw the bill of his hat. I'm gonna come up like this and see how much thicker this is. That's why I was starting to thicken it up to make it all flow together. Let's draw the bill of his hat over and in like that. And um, let's see, so let's draw the headphones over here and that'll let me flow over this way okay i could go this way but i want to draw this first i'm going to draw the headphones like this and i think before i mess anything up i'm going to draw like the uh the edge of it like this and just draw this edge like that okay subtle that's what i was going for subtle Okay, so that means I can draw the edge of his headphones like this, which is gonna go over his hat. Here we go, come down like that. And there is like another layer. If I do that with the fat Sharpie, I'm gonna mess it up. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of the top of the headphones like this. You know, that little uh, like soft, part at the top for the top of your head and that's what I'm adding just that okay walk away from it walk away from it <laughs> okay it's looking good so let's go with his collar so his collar comes to a point so we can pretty much do this okay that means his neck is right about right there and this side's gonna come up like that and I'm gonna do this like that and we got to draw the edge of that here so let's Let's see, let's just do like that because that's where his collar is hitting, okay? That's not how thin his neck is, that's just this part of the collar uh, covering up his neck. Look at it that way. Okay, so now we're gonna draw his vest and it's pretty easy. Um, we're just gonna follow the shape of it. Okay, and I'm gonna draw his, because it's a vest, it's got, it's cut off on the sleeves and uh, that's all the edge we have to draw. So now we're gonna draw like the little edges that we have here. And let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. We're gonna draw the sleeve to the back, which has got like those bumps like that. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna draw what I was telling you. I, I didn't want to do all this detail on the inside, but I'm gonna go ahead and draw some of it for you. Uh, let's see, so if we draw the edge here, maybe I should draw the edge. Let's do that. That way it'll guide us as to what we're gonna do here. There we go. So, I'm gonna draw the edge of it here, like that. And that's gonna guide us to certain parts, okay? Oops. Oh, come on, Sharpie, you work for me. To that point right there. And then I'm gonna draw lines across because it's like, uh, like straps, kind of look, I don't know. It's a design, that's all I can tell you. And then it's got a couple of lines like this. Okay, and this one, let's see, this one, as we're going up, I'm gonna stop because it's got um, another look to it. Like this, or another part of the design, like that. And this kind of goes over to that, kind of a flat kind of thing. But I want this to look a little thicker, so I'm gonna go ahead and 
thicken that up just a little bit if I can get my Sharpie to work. Sometimes with my Sharpie's not working, I'm like, is that my Sharpie trying to tell me don't do it? Don't draw that. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so there's that line like that. And uh, let's see, I think I'm gonna do one last one like this and like that. Okay, we'll stop there. Okay, so now let's draw his arms. And his arms, pretty much normal arms, but he's got some uh, armor on them. So I'm gonna draw this part of the armor like that because of my sketch, I know where that is. I know where it's supposed to be there. And let's see, there's another one underneath, but that's underneath that. So this is on top. So I'm gonna draw this first. And again, I'm following my sketch. That's why I can kind of float stuff around because I know where things are supposed to be. All right. All right, looking good. So now we're just gonna draw anatomy. So we're just gonna draw his arm, uh, the, the bicep, the forearm, like that. And now I can just draw in his hands. So his hands, I kind of have, kind of doing like something like this. So uh, just just watch me, see where we're, where we're gonna go with this. So I'm gonna draw his finger up like this. Okay, does that make sense? I'm gonna draw his thumb like that. Like this, and so his other finger is over here like this. And then his other fingers are kind of back behind, but you can't see them because of that finger. So. Let me come back and correct some of this stuff here, make it look a little flow a little bit better. Uh, I can't really connect and correct that, so we're just gonna go with, with what we did, okay? All right, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of edge because of uh, the, the glove look to it. And I wish I could, I could fix that, but it's a Sharpie. What are you gonna do? I can only do so much with it, you know? All right, so there's that hand. Not happy with it, but we're gonna keep going. I mean, what are you gonna do? So, um, let's draw this one over here, and let me see, I'm trying to think what's in front. This is kind of in front, so let's draw this hand first. So I'm gonna come up here and draw the thumb, like this, and draw the inside of the hand, draw the back of the hand, like that, and I'm gonna draw the pinky, all curled in, with a fist, and draw these fingers like that, this one like this, and that'll give me the fist. So I know where I can build off of that. So again, it's a glove, so I'm just gonna close that off. I come down here for the forearm like this, and I'm gonna draw that armor that's on the inside so I can bring it to the elbow. And as I come over here, I'm gonna kinda do something like that because he's got straps over that part of the uh, bicep. Which now I could just pretty much do like this. Okay? And let's see, let's draw a little bit of detail in there just because that's the armor as well. Okay? There we go. And then if you want, we can draw that arm like that, or that, that bend in the arm like that. Okay, so let's keep going. So he's got a bunch of packs and belts and stuff like that, pouches. So I'm just gonna draw, basically draw a square for his mini pouches and, and belts and do that. Let's come back with a thinner Sharpie just to draw an edge. And since we got the thinner Sharpie, let's just go ahead and draw a little uh, snap like that. Um, so now we can draw his belt over here like this. And I'll go ahead and draw a little strap there, strap there. And then as we get over here, there's another big old pouch. So we're gonna, uh, gonna wait to draw that because I want it on the outside of his leg, okay? So again, let's just draw another pouch over here, full of pouches, this guy. And basically a big box. Draw the side of it like that. Again, with the thinner Sharpie, I'm gonna come back to the edge and just kind of accent it, basically what I'm doing, to make it look like a pouch. Like that, okay? And that's attached to his leg here, so I'm gonna kind of do something like this. And again, I know where the edge is, so that's why I can just uh, 
stop drawing because I know what I was doing. That's why we're sketching. Okay, and let's see. So I'm going to draw his shirt real fast. Okay, so now I can draw the rest of him. And let's see. He's got pouches over here. Well, he's got a, a, a gun holster over here. So I'm going to draw up to the gun holster. I'm going to draw the straps like that. And then uh, I want the gun holster on the other side of his leg, so I'm going to go ahead and draw his leg. And basically, his pants are going to be colored more than anything, so I just got to draw the the baggy, the bagginess of it. Okay, so I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to follow my sketch. Added a couple little bumps, you know, a couple little creases, like I like to do. And that's pretty much it for the pants, you know. Uh, the, the creases we'll do in a second, but that's all I had to do. Um, so now I'm going to draw that gun holster like that on the side, attached to this. Remember, it's not just floating down here, it's attached to those two. And again, here we're going to draw um, just a pants. But there is a knee pad here that I'm going to come in and draw first. Okay, so now I can draw the pants like this like that. Same thing, I'm just going to draw like some, some bunged up looking edges following my sketch like that. I'll go ahead and draw a couple of, uh, of uh, extra lines because again, you know, this is their pants and they're creased and bunged and, and I, I'm using that word a lot, bunged, huh? <laughs> They're uh, folded. That's the word I'm looking for. They're folded. And I like doing that. It kind of brings it alive, you know, makes it makes it cool. All right. So let's just finish up these boots here. There's not much to them. I'm not going to draw all the laces or anything. We're just going to draw the shape of them, basically. So I'm just going to draw the shape of the boot like this. It's just a thick old big boot is all it really is. So like that. And we'll draw... We'll do a little bit of like where the laces are supposed to be. We'll do something like this. Okay. And that'll help us define um, at least the, uh, the, the placement, right? So same thing over here. We're just going to draw just the heel down and come to the front of the toe like that. This one's going to come down, go like this. Um, let's see, we're going to draw like that and then there's a middle part like that and again we'll do like we did over here just gonna draw where the laces would be okay something like that there we go okay so I say we take care of the rest with color so that is gauge so here is my colored version you could do it however you like I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it if you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.